My name is Rosania Victor. I am the manager of the Helen Reef program. Helen Reef is Palau's most pristine paradise. Hochariri is the name our people of Hatoe give it because when it was discovered, it was so abandoned with giant clams. Because of the abandoned in marine resources, Helen Reef has been the center of illegal fishing from foreign countries. On December 7, 2020, I received a call from our rangers at Helen Reef who came face to face with their biggest challenge they've ever encountered in their lives. Uh, Hercules Emilio, Senior Conservation uh, Officer. Well, the incident started on, uh, occurred on December 7, uh, 2020. And uh, we encountered the vessel early morning at about uh, approximately about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It was sighted, uh, uh, the speedboat was sighted inside the lagoon, heading toward the island by uh, Officer Kell, which he reported to me that there's an uh, uh, unreported boat uh, running inside the lagoon. My name is Tetrat Kell and I'm a conservation for Helen. On that incident, I, uh, when they arrived, I reported to my senior officer, Hercules Amigio. Petra is in charge of uh, getting in touch with the main office because uh, usually 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock is the time for radio. Officer Chayam, he was in charge of uh, getting photographs of the vessel, the people on board and whatever evidence that need to be documented. The other guy was uh, first time there, he was still like uh, working under the COVID uh, program, so he's more like there to just observe. And so we, he was more like uh, relying on Tony, helping Tony out with whatever needs that, uh, that needs to be done. As for me, I took most part of it. I, was, I approached them, I tried my best to communicate to them, trying to understand what they were, uh, their whole purpose to be there. But it's kind of hard uh, talking to foreigners who are not understanding English, even though using a sign language is more com complicated. So we waited for them to come closer to the island, which we approached them and then demanded them to stay on board, not to get on, sh on, sh on shore. But uh, what I did was, uh, what I thought was best to do was just to keep them out. Uh, they tried to give me, uh, they brought some uh, goods on, uh, on their boat trying to over us, which I told them not to, not to give us and uh, advised them to head back to their ship that next day we'll uh, go out to their, to their boat. So, uh, when I go like this, I saw the boat and you know, I saw the, the hat of, uh, in my mind, uh, I saw that hat in the Vietnam uh, movie, uh, you know, those uh, movie before. That's where I saw those hat they're wearing. Uh, my breath uh, start uh, like a short uh, breath. So I just uh, fast to think of a cut. God help us. That's my. That's what I think that time. To see a poacher came to the island, yes, I was nervous, scared, and tried to come myself and along with my other uh, co-workers. They were nervous. It's their first time on the island. Mostly, like two of them were first on the island, and it was their first time to be to see the poachers that came to the island. So I had to calm them down and uh, get them comfortable before we move on to the next. Uh, trying to get in touch with our uh, main office. But on the next day, they arrived and at uh, that time they came, they brought in the, the, uh, the 20,000 uh, bill bond and they offered, they offered the cash, uh, which to me, I know it's uh, against the law to, to accept bribery, but the reason why I didn't accept the bribery is that uh, first, it's against the law. Second, if I accepted the bribery, then it means that I'm allowing them to collect whatever resources that we have on the reef.
when I got the call from the governor that the patrol should be uh, arriving there on December 10, and which they did. They arrived in the morning. We communicated through VHF. Uh, they asked our assistant. We head down on the boat. We the, they blocked the Chinese boat from going out the channel, and then from there they they took over all the everything. While um, they all they only needed my uh, my report, which I submitted to the CO on the on board the Remley. I'm so proud of our Rangers for the sacrifice they made in manning a remote station away from their families for their bravery in intercepting illegal fishing vessels using their experience and tactics from their trainings and for having the integrity to refuse bribes five times more than their annual salaries the strength of our program is from the great support that we receive from our local national and regional partners we thank you very much for your support and we urge you to continue to help us into the future